<laughs> hey, you guys, I don't know why this is so important on the return from commercial, but these are my new loafers. I'm super excited about them. Thank you, Christian Center of Park City, for hooking me up for a great price and looking comfortable and confident on television. Welcome back. We're about to talk about one of the wonderful organizations of our beloved Salt Lake Valley. They do great work all throughout the year, but this is a very special weekend for the good folks from Craft Lake City. They will be putting on their vaunted and beloved DIY Fest. I'm so excited to welcome from the organization. This is Maggie Trilly. How are you? Hi, Terry. Nice to meet you. you too. Thanks for having me. Me. You went and memorized my name. I did. I'm so thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Busy, huh? We are busy. We're gearing up for our ninth annual DIY festival. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. That's in, in this day and age, stringing together nine consecutive years of pretty much anything, I think you're in the top 10% if, if you have your ninth wedding anniversary. Yeah, so. we're growing too, so I think we'll be around for a while. That's fantastic. Yeah. And talk a little bit for folks who may not be familiar, and of course we have lots of viewers down in the valley, but, but for folks who uh, are up here on the hill and certainly are familiar with all the tons of stuff going on here in Park City, there are some really great things that I always think is a great kind of a reverse staycation, like get out of Park City and cruise down to the valley and see some of the great stuff that you guys are doing. Talk a little bit about Craft Lake City. For sure, yeah. I was just up here for the Arts Festival and it was you wonderful, are. so I'd love it if Park City uh, people came down to the DIY Festival. Um, it's this weekend, Friday through Sunday, and we are a local organization that supports and promotes local artisans. And this is our biggest event of the year. There's over 250 artisans at the festival. Wow. And over 50 performers, including Winter Grain, is going to be there. That's fantastic. And we, this year, we have a lot of new stuff going on. We have some DIY workshops that are facilitated by local artisans and I suggest that anybody who's interested sign up early because they're going fast. Um, and talk a little bit about some of the some of the options that people would have to kind of be involved to roll their sleeves up. Yeah so we have themed days so Friday is brush lettering brush lettering workshop. Um, Saturday we have gold leafing workshop wow. and Sunday is macrame so there's multiple workshops you can sign up for each day and they are presented by West Elm so when you're at the DIY festival you can find them in the West Elm workshop area. Gotcha, gotcha. And, and talk about how this uh, differs, obviously, these, these kinds of opportunities to participate, but uh, talk about in the earlier days kind of the, the logic behind DIY as something sort of not wholly different than Craft Lake City, but certainly, a, a, is it fair to say, a, a bigger event? Yeah, so Craft Lake City is celebrating all things handmade. We're trying to redefine the word craft. So we have, um, one example is at our DIY festival, we have a STEM building where we feature DIY engineers oh, who are wow. showcasing their craft of DIY, handmade, you know, DIY projects. Um, and, you know, one, Utah has a, a, quite a history of craft and we also want to celebrate that and continue that tradition on. It's interesting how there are certain things, and of course, not being from here, but over the years, sort of becoming more and more a part of, of this community of, of Utah and of the culture. Craft is a, it's a word that has a lot of meaning and yet is still always sort of being added to by virtue of the fact that there is a strong culturally with, with the Mormon pioneers and, and the, the self-reliance and self-sufficiency there, mm -hmm. but it, it's, it's in more of the culture than just kind of directly church related. It feels the same, similar to music here, like there's a great tradition, but then there's just so much passion on top of it. Exactly the craft of music making you know we want to support yes. that and promote that um, we have craft food at the festival you know we're celebrating craft on many different levels and you know we also have some demonstrations that are free at the festival so anyone can join at the demonstration area and learn a new technique to maybe 
start some crafting themselves, and hopefully inspire more people to join the, the DIY movement. And that occurs to me that in the times that I've been to Craft Lake City and, and see the, the different kinds of art, and, and I think we can maybe fairly make a comparison that things are a little bit more corporate ish, whatever that means, like here in Park City, the kind of art that you see at the Kimball Arts Fest versus some of these wildly creative, uh, one of my favorite things is, I never thought about that. Like, what a cool thing to do. What a great idea. Exactly. And not only that, but you're, you're being inspired by local artisans and local performers. Every one of our artisans um, are from Utah. So that inspiration, really cool. you know, stays in our community and, sure, and we can sure. inspire each other. Do you have folks that are wanting to, to come from other states to, to be a part of the exhibition? Um, we've had a few inquiries, but we're sticking to local, you know, That's it's awesome. part of our mission to support local artisans. Yeah. Fantastic. Now you guys have a promo that we talked a little bit about and uh, we're going to take a look at this and this is, this is specifically for the DIY Fest? Yep, it's our promo video for our 2017 DIY Fest happening this weekend. Let's check it out. Angela H. Brown loves her city. Her dream? To make Salt Lake City into the kind of place where smart creatives want to live and thrive. Angela knows that the uncommon is what makes our community shine. And what uncommon characteristics do we Utahns share? Fierce independence, ingenuity, creativity, and a little bit of a stubborn streak. Inspired by this independent, imaginative spirit, Angela set out to create something entirely new, a festival by locals for locals, showcasing local creativity and keeping local dollars in the economy. In 2009, with a little gumption and a good deal of elbow grease. The first Craft Lake City DIY Festival was held at the Gallivan Center in Salt Lake City, Utah. The Craft Lake City DIY Festival celebrates do-it-yourself culture, featuring artists and craftspeople, DIY engineers and tinkerers, foodies and farmers, singers and dancers, collectors and upcyclers. With your support, we'll keep building on our vision to make our community a more beautiful, self-sufficient, and harmonious place through our shared love of creating. Here in Utah, we are makers. We are entrepreneurs. We are dreamers. You bunch of dreamers. Yes, That's we are cool dreamers. Piece. That is a cool piece. <laughs> so uh, we need to talk a little bit about uh, sponsorship and, and presenting sponsors and all that kind of stuff because obviously it's very important yes. that you have those corporate partners who make it possible. Very true, yes. We are um, fortunate enough to have Harmons as our presenting sponsor. And you can also, we also have a VIP lounge sponsor, the Coca-Cola VIP lounge, wow. which is also sponsored by Harmons. And I think that's, that's the ticket. Yeah. 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 That, so that's where you'll be all weekend is just with your feet up in the <laughs> VIP lounge, right? You might catch me in the VIP lounge here, lounge here and there, yes. <laughs> sure, you'll be very busy. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, I guess the last thing is, let's give folks uh, ways to get in touch with you, internet, social media, all that stuff. Yeah, you can buy tickets to our West Elm workshops at 24ticks.com. You can also get tickets to the DIY Festival at 24ticks.com, or you can do, go to our website, craftlakecity.com. Um, and there's a lot of more information there about what's happening, uh, artisan lineup, performer lineups, workshops, demos, everything you need to know about the festival. And there's a, there's a great example of something to check in on the website for 50 bands is a lot. I'm yes. sure that there are many bands for pretty much anybody watching that would be in the genre that they prefer or bands like Wintergrain that are pals and just doing such great work. So make sure to go to craftlakecity.com. Mm -hmm. For the performer the lineup, yes. Awesome. <laughs> Maggie, thank you so much. Thank so you. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Have a wonderful weekend. I'm sorry that I'll be out of town. I'm feeling particularly 
chagrined about that at the moment, but we appreciate you coming and appreciate this great event on behalf of all of our artistic and creative citizens of Utah. Well, thank you from Craft Lake City. Thank you. <laughs> all right, you guys, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to talk a little bit about weather, and then there is literally one metric ton more of beautiful music from Wintergrain, because I love you. <laughs> 